cards. They brought back keyboard support. Thank God. Oh, yes. All right. It gets a must buy. Actually, I find that Subnautica looks on the face of it like a gentle exploratory game. It's nothing but a VR horror legend. And I think that the whole thing is just something special. It's a journey that I can't but love. And playing it on hardcore is the most oh, intense no, 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 survival hardcore. experience oh, I've ever had in any game. Oh, God, I, I and I mean that, any Easy. game. It, it, does chair, it does something special. It does something that other games haven't done. It makes me fear death. I was one of the original backers, number 1500 and something out of 10,000. So I've been with Subnautica and playing with it and enjoying it no, for no, quite no, some no. time. No. The voiceovers and the story are immaculate and oh gripping, God. and they pull you from yeah. point to point. So they don't cool. lead you by the so nose, but also they don't lose oh you in the God. wilderness. The it is an incredibly like crafted, exquisite experience to be able to wander Happy. what feels like your own path, but in reality is the path of the story that they wanted to tell you. Secrets, events happen, and every turd was just incredible. The kind of depths and terror, the things I can't tell you right now, it's hurting me inside. I've managed to survive more than 15 hours, and that has been some of the best VR gameplay I've ever had. I think you cannot miss this. It beats Resident Evil 7, the atmosphere, and the focused tension and horror that you feel. Subnautica devs, you've done a stellar job with this one. I hope you get to sleep on a bed of money.